How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix some of the biggest problems in uh, my video how to make a bucket server. Um, first of all, I'd like to point out that it says beta 1.8 here, but it works for any update ever. This is just a simple way, you know, to go about doing it. So, um, biggest problem is it says I have an outdated server. Now, I put a link in the description to bucket.org. Um, now, if you go to bucket.org, um, as you can see right here, first of all, there'll normally be a post saying, uh, blah, blah, blah. It, they're working on a, as of right now, they don't have a version for 1.2.3. Um, so there's not an official version, but there's some buggy versions you can download at your own risk. Um, but chances are, if you go to get craft bucket right here, um, and it's for, um, you know, it says recommended build, you can download it there, but it says currently 1.1, it says R4, but that doesn't really matter. 1.1 is the big number we're talking about here. So it's for the release of 1.1. So if you download this and you run it on and you know it will run fine everything will be fine but if you try to connect to it on a 1.2 server I mean on a 1.2 client it will not connect it'll, it'll say um, outdated server okay so that's a big problem some of you guys are having having because you can't connect to it uh, but that's not the biggest all right it's not the biggest all right so um all right um it says this is one of the biggest problems you guys have. It says the system cannot find path, all right, the path. That is a huge problem. Or it says, um, what does it say? It's already running or something like that, but it's not running. Of course, you guys know it's not running. So um, if you guys are having either of those problems, I'm gonna show you how to fix it right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna run our server. This is just a little test server I have running and it only has one plugin on it. But um, so I showed you this in my, port forwarding troubleshooting video but I'm going to show you it again just because it applies to this as well so if you hit control shift escape on your keyboard I'm on Windows I don't know how to access it on a Mac if you can um, but of course my video was for Windows so um, we're gonna see in our processes not our applications in our process processes we see java.exe running alright and it's taking up this much memory and stuff like that so uh, first of all, this is just a handy tool um, in general to know how to access because you can in certain processes here if they're glitching out and crashing and stuff like that. So um, as you can see, we have java.exe running and java.exe is our server. If I were to run, let me run my Minecraft right now and uh, bring this back up. It's going to take a minute because I don't know why, but Minecraft just loves to take forever to launch. Um, and we have it running now, and we see java.w.exe. java.w.exe is the client, and java.exe is the server. So, um, if it says the server is already running, you can either A, download the jar again, which is the, probably the hardest way to do it, because it just takes longer, and you got to find the link and stuff like that. Or, you can just go into your Java, into your Windows Task Manager, um, and uh, right click on java.exe and click in process if I click this first of all you should never end your server like this I'm just showing you this is just a test server I have no connections to it if this was my real server I would never properly end it like that I would properly end it by typing in stop and hit enter that's how you should always end your server and don't click the X either but um, just right click on java.exe and click in process now I'm going to do it of course you should never do this but if I click in process it'll be it'll give me a warning and then wait for it it'll disappear eventually eventually or press any key to continue it doesn't really matter but um, if your thing isn't running like if it isn't properly running but it says it's running do that and it won't it won't pop up with that it won't say press any key to continue it would just go away um, and that goes for anything else. If I have my, let's run my Minecraft again and I can show you. Um, okay, there it is. Um, I can click in process on this and it'll just go away. Um, that's good if your Minecraft crashes and you clicking X, X, X and it doesn't go away. You can just open up this and get rid of it quickly. Of course, it'll eventually go away, but it's just faster. Um, so that's how you fix that problem. 
Um, I also say sometimes you can restart your computer, but all that takes longer as well. Um, so just go there, get get it done. Just get it done. Um, all right. So that's probably the biggest. All right. Um, also, this this one guy says when I save snapshot, it puts it on my desktop. Come on, bro. He just put it into a folder. Okay. Now I'm gonna address something. Let's see. Let's open up this. Now I have currently. Uh, my jar is called craft bucket slash 1.1 slash r4 dot jar um, and if I were to edit my run dot bat and I were to expand it here um, we see that it says craft bucket slash 1.1 slash r4 dot jar if um, I were to run this on another version if it was 1.2.3 dot slash r4 or whatever it wouldn't work because basically this is saying run this in a safe way it's running the jar in a safe way if I were to just click on the jar it wouldn't work so um, all you gotta do is click rename and copy this or you can simply just type it in of course you guys can see all this and I'm sorry because it gets kinda cropped let's just move this into a point of view you guys can see I guess alright there we go um, so crap bucket blah 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 okay so you guys see that um, and just uh, click edit, go into this, and just paste it in. Obviously, that's not the case, but if it was that or whatever, um, you could just change that, and then that would work. Um, for some reason, I've had that problem in the past when I run it, and it says cannot find jar. That's a, that's a problem. If it says cannot find the jar, that's your problem. That's how to fix it. Um, it's because the run.bat is saying, I don't know where it is because it says this is what it's looking for in the files um, it says I'm looking for craft bucket slash r.1 slash r4 dot jar if it was named anything else you would have a problem okay so that's how you do it don't rename it I don't know if you can rename it I'm not sure but just don't okay just don't um, just uh, go into the run dot bat and uh, click edit Right click, click edit, and uh, open this up. And uh, that's how you do that. So um, I think I've addressed all the ones I wanted to address. Yeah, okay, I addressed this one. That's the biggest one. Uh, I addressed this one. Okay, yeah, this one. Um, it just says unable access jar file because for a while I was um, using a. Um, media fire link which I don't know why I was using um, but uh, simply like I have a direct link to download it like bucket site basically what I did is on the bucket site I click get craft bucket and that's what this link is that's what the second link is um, but just remember it's for 1.1 and it's not for anything else for the current version so this this site will always update it'll always update if there is a new version it will update let me show you how to get a beta version all right so we're here uh, the beta version for 1.2.3 is right here uh, or this is the newest post of course you guys should always check it click continue reading at the bottom right and uh, scroll down and you can download it right there so um if I were to download it let's just download it for um, for you know poop scoop reasons I don't know why I just said that because that makes no sense whatsoever but who cares all right, Coke is always good when you're sick. By the way, I'm sick, so if I sound funny, that's why. So if I were to put this in there, it's obviously called. Uh, <laughs> I've obviously downloaded it before, um, but uh, get rid of that. And uh, if I were to click rename and copy this, and uh, go into my run dot bat and edit it, I could change this little bit, like I just showed you. Paste that in there and save it. Now hopefully if I run it it's doing that it's converting it's an auto updater it has to convert the world because my current world is for 1.1 but uh, it does that which is awesome and there you go it's done so it's running on the new version and I could click stop and or type in stop of course and then I could change this again just by going in here and changing it and I could run the other version so you could have multiple jars in the same thing but just as long as you change it, you're good to go. So, 
that's it guys hopefully this video helped you in uh you know in numerous ways if you guys have any questions that i did not address in this video leave them in the comments below and i will respond to your comment and also will put it in the description of this video uh along with the answer so if you guys have a question check the description first and uh then go ahead and uh fix that okay all right cool so um thank you guys for watching enjoyed please leave a like again if the question is not in the description just leave leave it in the comments and I'll answer it and then I'll put it in the description. Okay. Awesome. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Make sure to check out my port forwarding tutorial um, and uh, my port forwarding uh, my port forwarding troubleshooting tutorial. All right. Cool.